Welcome, in front of me is a OnePlus 8 and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of the device. So you first boot up the device, we present it with the hide air screen and from here you want to tap on the languages right there and choose your desired language from the well, entire list here. Um, now I'm going to stick with English so I just tap on cancel and tap on start. Then you have OnePlus's uh, terms and conditions, so let's sign away our soul right here and agree to that. Uh, use our experimental programs. Um, they have some ways of basically even uh, spying on you more if you want that. Uh, they will gather or the probably data on how you're using the device uh, just so they can improve it in the future. Quotation mark. Uh, you can actually opt out of that if you don't want to or just jump in. Uh, now it doesn't really require anything from you this will just gather data and that's it so let's tap on no oh, thanks at least that's what i'm gonna choose uh, then you have network uh, connect to mobile network and now you do have to have a sim card for this um, and this step is completely optional you can insert a sim card right now uh, tomorrow one year or never and the device will still work the same just on the downside of not being able to call from it uh, so you can tap on skip for now and just insert it later on and again This will not require you to do anything once you insert it. It will just automatically start working Then you have Wi-Fi connection and you can connect to a network right here or just disregard it Now I'm gonna connect because it's open it doesn't really require me to put in any password and it will automatically start doing its thing looking for updates and all that stuff so give it a moment And here you can either copy uh, data from a previous device or just set it up as new, which I'm gonna set it up as new, so let's choose don't copy. And here you have the Google sign in page. So again, this is optional. You can sign in or skip this. All it will do later on is allow you to well, access, for instance, Play Store without needing to log in. Uh, and also allow you to back up data to the uh, Google Cloud so you can restore it later on. So I'm not going to bother right now to log in, so let's just skip that. Uh, and you have Google services. Um, so localization, just so Google knows where you are. Um, and I'm kind of saying this sarcastically, but this will allow, for instance, Google Maps to function and know where you are right now and give you, for instance, a um, good uh, route when you're driving with a car, just the GPS tracking. Um, so this is basically for that and several other apps that shouldn't have any access to it uh, or don't need it will require it as well. Um, most likely uh, things like smart home app, uh, smart homes uh, apps, they, they for some awkward reason want localization. They shouldn't have it. So I just tap on continue. Um, then you have some OnePlus uh, co-creator user programs. Uh, so I guess you can sign up for uh, some of their programs, uh, push notifications, built-in app updates, uh, system stability programs. Um, so you can agree to this, uh, read exactly what it does. Um, if you don't like it, skip it by just tapping right here. Uh, now this is <laughs> this is nice. When you tap on skip, um, usually you would have skip on the right side. Here it's agree and continue, which is basically this button right here. So I just disagree. Nice try there. Um, and here you have fingerprint, so you can unlock your device with the fingerprint. Now it's the one embedded under the display. So I just set it up really quickly. Now before you can add a fingerprint, uh, you will have to have additional way of unlocking. And by default it goes to a pin, but you can tap right here uh, and change it to, for instance, pattern or password. I'm gonna set pattern. And from there, draw your pattern. Tap on next, redraw the same pattern once more, confirm. Now you cannot have just a fingerprint because, well, if your finger gets cut or something like that, you'll be locked out of your phone um, till it starts reading it, till your finger basically heals. So this is uh, a means to unlock your device in a different way if something happens to your finger that you cannot unlock it. Step on next. Now for some reason on the OnePluses, you seem to need to press hard on it. 
Um, so right now it's going okay, there we go. Um, and once you're done, you can add another finger tap on next to finish it up. I don't feel like adding another one, so I'm just gonna finish this up. Tap on okay. Uh, then you have, uh, I guess, some fonts. That's kind of interesting. So you can choose what font you want to use. When you click on it, it automatically will show you right here on this uh, uh, text. Um, so select the one that you like more. Uh, honestly, they just seem very similar. Uh, just the one pluses uh, seems to be a little bit more spread out Then tap on next once you're satisfied and here you have something that I really appreciate finally uh, having navigation gestures uh, as a default option set instead of trying to find it in the settings But also on top of that you can actually switch it quickly back to the normal ones if you prefer to have the Typical buttons on the bottom as you can see on this image tiny one right here as you probably are used to having uh, I personally like the gestures, they just seem to be nicer. Gives you a, a quick guide on it, how to use it, uh, and then tap on start. So we do have to go through the guide. Uh, swipe from the side to go back, and either side works uh, the same. Swipe up quickly to go home, and swipe up and hold to go to recent apps. And then start, and we're in the phone, with it being fully set up. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, or, and thanks for watching.